Uh, hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we are going to simulate a conversion reactor in S1+. Plus. Uh, this is the problem statement. Uh, the thylene glycol is produced by the direct hydration of ethylene oxide. Ethylene uh, oxide reacts with the uh, water to produce a, a ethylene glycol. And the conversion uh, of ethylene oxide is 95% in this reaction. Uh, simultaneously, a side reaction also uh, takes place uh, where this uh, ethylene glycol reacts with uh, ethylene oxide to produce diethylene glycol. So, the temperature of the reactor is 200 degrees C and uh, the pressure is uh, 3 MPa inside the reactor. And uh, the mole ratio of ethylene oxide to water is uh, 1 to 12. That means that if I feed uh, 100 kmol per hour of uh, ethylene oxide, I have to feed 1200 kmol per hour of um, water. And uh, the feed temperature and pressure are given 25 degrees C and 3 MPa. And uh, we are asked to use S S1 plus and uh, uh, calculate the composition of the uh, reaction products and direction heat duty if 100 kmol per hour of ethylene oxide is uh, processed. And we are also asked to determine the uh, heat of reaction uh, when the reference temperature is 25 degrees C and the reference, uh, reference pressure is a 101.325 kilopascal. So, uh, open S1 hyacinth, uh, sorry, S1 plus. Double click on new, double click on blank simulation and here we have to add the components. So component is, uh, components are uh, water and uh, ethylene oxide, ethylene oxide, okay, uh, click on this equal and uh, then find now. So it will find ethylene oxide and selected components and uh, let me just rename this ET oxide and uh, the rename and now add uh, uh, ethylene again glycol. Okay, just click on this equal so that it can find exactly the same thing and uh, also at diethylene glycol diethylene glycol so at at close so this is uh, ethylene oxide this is ethylene glycol so eth uh, glycol and uh, uh, diethylene glycol so I will write diethylene uh, di diethylene glycol <coughs> okay now uh, go to the methods and in the methods uh, select the uh, Gas method in RTL, and uh, we have to select the in RTL RK. I'll just click next and then run. <coughs> now go to the simulation and uh, go to reactor. And this is actually the conversion reactor R strike. This is the conversion reactor model inside the S1. Uh, plus and uh, now add the feed stream we also have another feed stream so uh, that means that uh, we have to feed two streams one contain water and uh, uh, one of the stream is a uh, uh,
dietary linux site so also add the product stream this is the uh, product stream so i can write this as a feed one and uh, rename this as feed two and this is the product okay now uh, uh, double click on this feed stream feed one so let's suppose this is the feed which contains the uh, italian oxide so the temperature is 25 degree c the pressure was 3 uh, mega pascal uh, so this is 3 mega pascal and uh, the pressure rate is 100 kmol per hour and uh, the mole friction of italian oxide is 1 that means uh, it contains uh, only italian oxide and uh, now go to feed 2 and uh, this is 25 degree c and uh, the pressure is uh, 3 mega pascal press m and uh, go to mega pascal and uh, this is the stream that contains uh, water so it is flow, uh, flowing at uh, rate of fill 100 kmol per hour and uh, so i will just type right one here and uh, it is actually mole friction so that means uh, that this uh, this stream is composed of water only now go to the blocks click on b1 so the temperature is given it is 200 degree c and the pressure is a uh, 3 mega pascal 3 mega pascal now go to the reaction here we have to define the reaction click on new and uh, reaction number one so in reaction number one we have italian oxide and uh, water so one mole of italian oxide reacts with one mole of italian uh, of one mole of water to produce a one mole of ethylene glycol so just write one here okay the friction conversion in the first case in the first reaction is a 95 percent and the compound is ethylene oxide okay click on this button now another reaction uh, here ethylene oxide react with the ethylene glycol one mole of ethylene oxide one mole of ethylene glycol to produce uh, one mole of diethylene glycol and the uh, friction conversion is 0 0.005 sorry 0 0.05 5 percent the component is uh, ethylene oxide and uh, based on ethylene oxide actually so click on this button now uh, all the specification has been completed so uh, you can actually see it so here we required input to complete and uh, now uh, just uh, click on this run button and uh, the file is simulated so just b1 go to the stream results and uh, go to the mole friction so this is the mole friction of different streams feed stream it contains 100 percent of ethylene oxide feed two stream it contains 100 percent of water and the product stream contains 92 percent of water there is no ethylene oxide 100 percent ethylene oxide has been converted and uh, ethylene glycol is almost 7.5 percent and uh, similarly we have also the composition of diethylene glycol in this uh, streams you can also check other properties like mass products uh, molar products and uh, similarly other properties as well uh, mass friction and uh, so on and uh, now uh, in the case, second question uh, uh, we have been asked to uh, determine the reactor heat duty if 100 kmol per hour of ethylene oxide is processed so 
our process is already, uh, already processing 100 kilomole uh, per hour at the Dynex side. So just uh, go to this uh, B1 and uh, go to the results. And this is the heat duty. Huh? You can change the unit to kilowatt. So the heat duty is the uh, 2531.85 kilowatt in order to process a 100 kilomole per hour of uh, ethyl linux site. Uh, in part C, we have been asked to determine the heat of reaction. So, for that, you just click on this uh, setup, go to uh, heat of reaction, and uh, here you have to define the uh, just click on this report calculate heat of reaction uh, reaction 1 the reference component is the ion oxide temperature into water degree C and uh, uh, this is a uh, 101.3 kilo kilopascal and uh, the reference phase is a liquid and uh, reaction 2 so this is uh, uh, Italian oxide 25 degree C and 101.325 kilopascal and the reference phase is liquid. Now run the simulation and go to results, go to the uh, reaction and this is the heat of reaction. Huh? This is the heat of reaction. You can change the unit to kilojoule per kilomole. So this is the heat of reaction of uh, the first uh, Reaction, reaction number one, and this is the heat of reaction of the uh, uh, second reaction. Thank you very much.